Um, Raj Nasiria, Zero. Hi. how are you? Do you guys have any evidence to share with us about this potential um, preparation for the use of chemical weapons? Because that wasn't actually laid out. Right, and, and, and nor would that be laid out because that would be considered an intelligence matter. So as you all are aware, there are a lot of these things that will um, pop up sometimes that we just can't get into the details about this. But this has obviously gotten the attention of the United States government at the highest level. So could the activity have perhaps been for some other reason than a chemical weapons attack preparation? Such as? something that they do at the base or, I mean, is, is that a possibility? I would say that that's a hypo hypothetical question. Um, we know from past experience that the Syrian regime has used chem chemical weapons on its own people. Um, so that obviously remains a very, uh, a very large concern for us in the future. I just want to make a yeah. point of clarification. Yeah. When you guys believe that it's in your interests, you do put out what you say is evidence or proof of things that involve intelligence. And it happened from this podium not that long ago with the crematorium that you mm -hmm. guys said was being mm -hmm. built at the prison. Yeah. So it's not a blanket. We never discuss intelligence, right? Matt Lee, I, I'm, I'm not going to. Uh... I'm not going to get into that one with you, but this is uh, a very serious and grave matter. And when you have the president involved and his national security team and the secretary involved as well, I'd say that's a serious issue. Okay. Any, anything else on this? Hi. Okay. How are you? Uh, go ahead. Let him go ahead. I'm sorry. The preparation. The preparation. Is it like 24-hour preparation? Maybe 48 hours, and then they stand back. I don't. I don't have the answer to that question. The White House may be able to give you more on that, or perhaps the Department of Defense or another agency, but um, our department rather. Uh, but I, I just can't get into that, and I don't have the answer to that question. Just to clarify. Um, Mr. Assad was also seen photographed with the top Russian general in Syria within the last 24 hours or so. Do you know if the Russians, or are, are we aware if the Russians were aware about these uh, preparations as well? I, I, I'm not aware of that. Um, we don't have any intel saying one way or another. I, I just can't get into any intelligence, but I'm, I'm not personally aware of that. Okay. Anything else on uh, Russia, Syria? Uh, hold on. Russia, Syria? Okay. Who's got it? Uh, Sir uh, in the back. Yeah, so Ambassador Haley said today that they would blame Iran, Russia, and Syria if chemical weapons were again. Mm -hmm. What does it mean to blame these countries? How would the U.S. hold them accountable in the event of another strike? Okay. Does the U.S. intend on militarily striking Iran or Russia in the event of a chemical weapons attack? Okay, your third question I can't answer. That's a Department of Defense uh, matter, and then that's also a hypothetical. In terms of the first question, which is why would we, uh, why would we look to Syria so and how, Iran? Is what does it mean? Part? What does it mean to blame them? Well, we've seen all we have to do is look to the past, right? And we have seen as the Syrian regime back in 2015 was on the verge of collapsing. Who came in to help save the Syrian regime? Who came in? Russia came in. And that is exactly why we are today, we meaning the world, in uh, the place that Syria is. Russia came in, helped bolster up Syrian uh, Syrian forces, and we have seen the death, the devastation, the destruction that has taken place ever since. So when we say uh, Russia would be held responsible, we believe that they play a role in this as well. They have a lot of influence with the Assad regime, and we have consistently called upon them to use their influence with the Assad regime to stop this kind of, um, to stop this kind of activity. Just, uh, John Hyde. Uh, you know, her remarks said any attacks on the Syrian people, you know, would, will be blamed, you know, on the C Assad and the Russians. Okay. Uh, why not? Wait to find out. This is obviously a complex war with a right. number of actors, yeah, you're right. including ISIS. Uh, it seemed like a rather unnuanced comment. Uh, what, wouldn't you find out who exactly you know was responsible well, before blaming? I can't get too much into uh, what Ambassador Haley said on the Hill today. I don't have all of her comments in front of me, so I just have to refer you to the U.S. UN for additional um, uh, clarification well, on what she. She meant. actually said that last night. In okay. A tweet. Okay. As well as saying it again on the okay. Hill. Can you, are you yeah. gonna, wouldn't, I mean, the State Department would, in the United States government, would look to find out and make sure it had evidence of who was exactly responsible, right, before issuing a blanket blame for attacks on the Syrian people. I think right? her comments stand for themselves. Sorry. Okay. Does that mean that you're not?